G'day, John for the Hot End. Today I've got a printer review with a bit of a difference this time. Back in a sec. G'day. Today I'm going to talk to you about a printer that's not from China, which is pretty unusual these days. What we have for you is the B Creative, no, the B Very Creative B2X300. This printer is, well, it's unusual, but it's not unusual. It's a normal RepRap Prusor i3 type printer. Uh, you'll see all the specs uh, on the sheets that I'm putting up. And it's just, how can I put it? It's just good. It's better than your average printer and by the price point you would expect that. This printer has everything that you could possibly wish for in any other printer that you may have seen. So what they've done is they've obviously read all the forums and, and all the Facebook groups and seen what all you guys are talking about and they've put them into this printer. For example, it's 24 volt. It has a beautiful heated bed. It has power fail. It has run out sensors, filament run out sensors, of course. It even has built in oilers if they're required. And being a Bowden system, it sometimes can need the oilers, and I'll get to that. Now, the other thing that this printer has that stands it apart from a lot of others is it is dual extruder and dual hot end. Now I've dealt with a few dual extruder, dual hot end printers before and I've always found them tricky to say the least to use. This printer was much much easier and I think it's mainly because of the really detailed instructions that come with this printer. Now the other thing I should also mention is that this is a full kit, well almost full kit printer. In other words, you have to put it together yourself. There's a couple of parts that are pre-assembled. The, the hot end unit is pre-assembled and most of the wiring is pre-cut and, and pre-connected, um, if you like, with the right connectors and labels on the wiring. So it's just a matter of plugging it in. But the rest of it you have to build. And by far, and I mean by a long, long way, the manual for building this printer is the best I have ever seen. It is a full written manual, this is all via the Be Very Creative website, a full written manual as well as full detailed step-by-step -step videos on how to put this printer together. It, and it, you, I really don't think you could go wrong putting it together. The frame is steel. It's laser cut in one piece and it really can only go together one way. It locks into place and the screws and nuts basically just stop it from coming apart again. It, it can only go together one way. It is extremely rigid and it prints really, really nicely. Trapezoid lead screws. It has a stainless steel rod and bearing construction so there's no wheels and v-slots and what have you 
it's all precision stainless steel rods and bearings so the accuracy of this printer is really really good now the other thing that you must know about this printer is that it has an all no it has two all metal hot ends and these hot ends are incorporated into a single cooling block uh, where your your input from your bat and go into the top now all metal hot ends by their nature can have their problems especially if you're printing with PLA but there's lots of information out there on why this can be a problem I had some problems with the hot ends on this printer but once I uh, cleaned them out and was able to get the extruders pushing through nice and smoothly it was fine the printer prints PLA really well it also prints PETG really really well and because of the dual nozzle you're able to print things like that Now granted, there's probably been better quality prints than the one I'm showing you. But while I was playing around with dual extruder, I was also playing around with trying to get a good Simplify 3D Triple F profile set up. So some of the prints you'll see, whilst they're, they're pretty good, uh, they probably could be a fraction better. and when I went into the Be Very Creative GitHub files, I found profiles for Cura. Now, they prefer you to use Cura. They have set up specific Cura profiles for this machine, which you can download. And the Cura profiles work really nicely. So if you were going to use this machine, I would recommend you use the Cura profiles, even though I'm not a fan of Cura. Uh, I'm a fan of Simplify 3D and, and I'm still working on the profile for that. This printer, as I said, is not Chinese, although some of the parts obviously are. It's actually sourced uh, from memory from Belgium, which means all you guys in European countries have really good access to this printer. For the US and for us in Australia, not so much. Now, as I said, this is a really, really nice, solid, consistent printer. It's above the standard that you would expect for your toy printers by quite a long way. And as such, if you have a look at the price on this printer, it may seem a little bit up there. I think from memory on their website, it sells for something like 650 euro. So whatever that is in your currency, uh, that's getting up there, especially for a kit printer that you have to put together yourself. But for my money, I think it's worth every penny, every euro, whichever, whatever. Uh, because of everything that it has on it. There is nothing else that you need for this printer. It has the print cooling fan, it has the print cooling fan ducts, it has auto bed leveling, it has a servo mounted probe for the auto bed leveling, it has a set routine in the LCD that runs through a self check process where it tests the two hot ends, the heated bed, the steppers, uh, and you're able to set your Z height from that system. Something that I've never seen before, this printer also has on the fly adjustment for X and Y offset for the nozzles, which if you know about two nozzle printing is very important. It also has the Z height offset which you can adjust live while it's printing so 
if you're doing your first layer and it looks like it's mushing a little or it's not sticking, you can actually adjust it while it's printing. And I've never seen that before on a printer and, and this has it. So for those things alone, to me, it's worth the money because it's very difficult to stuff up your print with this printer. It's, it's that good. ABS and those sort of filaments are going to be a problem because it's not enclosed but certainly you can have a go at it. The heated bed goes up to something like 120 or 150 degrees. Uh, it's in the spec sheet so it will certainly do it but yeah it needs an enclosure or, or at least a, a heated environment for it to work on ABS. Okay I don't have much more I can tell you about this printer. Have a look at the photos that I've put up uh, and the video clips while this has been playing out. I've had to do this reasonably quickly because I'm actually going on a six month sabbatical, holiday, vacation. Uh, so you won't see me for a little while. Hooray, there you go. Uh, so I'll be back in about five or six months and in the meantime you'll have to put up with Anthony and his videos. Okay, great printer. Well, we are not associated with Be Very Creative in any way, shape or form, except that they sent us the printer for our evaluation. Um, and while I'm on that, I should say that there were a couple of little issues when I got it, which the people at Be Very Creative quickly jumped on and fixed. One of those was the servo motor on the probe for the bed leveling. They, um, after I spoke to them, acknowledged that it was a little weak, so they upgraded that. And it's not only for new machines, but everyone who had already purchased the machine had the upgrade sent to them free of charge. So that's the sort of company they are. Okay, that's it for me, and I'll see you in about six months. Bye.